we're here on the north shore of Mizzen Head, the southernmost of the major peninsulas that stick out into the Atlantic in Southwest Ireland. And we're looking across Dunmanus Bay to Sheep's Head on the far side. As I was saying earlier, the, uh, there are two series of, of rocks in this area. There's the uh, Devonian series, which are deposited in or were deposited in, in uh, desert conditions, and they're overlying uh, carboniferous rocks, which were marine. The, the sea came in from the south and submerged the desert landscape and we had a great thickness of, of marine rocks deposited. So these two big uh, series of rocks were then, at the end of the Carboniferous, uh, about 300 million years ago, they were crumpled up as two of the Earth's plates moved together. They, these rocks were folded in very large folds. And we see these folds today because along this mizzen head and along the sheep's head there are these large upfolds which uh, geologists call anticlines. But with the upfolds from which the younger carboniferous rocks have been worn away. So we see along these peninsulas the reddish, really purplish rocks of the uh, old red sandstone of the Devonian and in the bays are the greyish marine rocks of the Carboniferous so that along the inner parts of the bays all the rocks along the coastline that we see are grey Carboniferous rocks and the big ridges along the top are the red rocks of the um, uh, Devonian. Well, we're here um, near the end of Mizzen Head, which is the most southwesterly of the peninsulas that jut out into the Atlantic. And the rocks here are all belonging to the Devonian period, although they're not very red. They're slightly red and quite a few green beds as well. The the main folds that make these peninsulas, although they're very large folds, they have on their flanks many, many smaller folds. And we see these quite well displayed further out as we move out towards the uh, lighthouse here. Well, these are the desert sandstones of the uh, Devonian. With the eye of faith, you can see they're very slightly purpley gray here, whereas higher up, they are more greeny gray. And that's quite normal uh, in this sequence um, in Southwest Ireland. And this is the bedding plain, which originally would have been horizontal when the beds were laid down and has been folded at the end of the Carboniferous time and now is part of a series of little wrinkly folds on the back of the main fold that forms the Mizzen Peninsula. Well here we're looking down across a small gorge which has a bridge over it um, before you get out to the lighthouse and a fracture in the rock along here, a large joint or a small fault, has been eroded out. Because it was open and available, the sea has gradually worn out and made virtually an island of the uh, end of the peninsula here with the, with the lighthouse uh, on it. And the rocks here are very much folded, but we'll get a clearer view of that when we're out at the lighthouse. But they, they vary in, in their dip greatly from one place to another as we walk along here. On the front of the G.S. Ice memoir is taken from here looking out this way. It's, it's not a complete island as you see. 
it's not what the sea hasn't quite broken through from the south side to the north side but it's almost it will go fairly quickly we get a few large storms in here this is the mizzen head lighthouse and we can see that there are a series of deep clefts here and the, this one is of interest on this side because um, one of the former prime ministers of the country, Tishuks of the country, um, crashed his yacht uh, into this inlet one night, uh, Charles J. Hockey, and um, had to be rescued from, from here in a storm. So he was very lucky not to lose his life. And then in the back of the inlet, we see that the rocks here are very tightly folded. There are a series of very small down walks and up walks in the rocks. And this, these are just on the flanks of these giant folds which form the main peninsula. And on the left, we see a bedding plane that almost goes over. It looks like the back of a whale, and that is in fact the flank of an upfold going over there. So as we were coming back from the Mizenhead Lighthouse, we've seen a series of caves. And uh, Dave, can you explain us how these caves were formed and why are they there? Well, it looks as though most of the caves are actually either in the center of upfolds. You see the, there's a, an upfold there with a cave forming at the base of it. There's one down below us here. But further along it looks as though the larger cave is actually formed where some soft bed, slightly purpley colored soft bed, dipping down has been eroded away rather more rapidly than the, the big thick sandstones above. And I think the same applies further over. But if we compare geology here on the mizzen head to geology on ship's head, is it similar? It's, it's similar in the sense that the spine of the headland is, is still the same set of Devonian rocks, but the details of them gradually changes as you go across the country because they were deposited in different places at different rates and so forth. Mm -hmm. And so we learned today that all these nice hills, green hills with uh, sheep on them, they've been all formed during the Variscan orogeny, is it? That's 300 million years ago. That's correct, yes. And uh, although you only see the foals right at the coast where they've been crumpled up, all the rocks underneath us as we cross these peninsulas, they're all similarly folded and crumpled and they have small faults and joints crossing them. Uh, it may look like smooth agriculture here, but underneath there's all sorts of complexity. Uh, that way, sorry. 